Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host of Intellect Digest, and in this video, I'm going to review the Micromax Canvas Laptop 2 in 1, which has been launched by Micromax, and it becomes a tablet or a PC when you require it. It just uh, docks in like this and becomes a full featured uh, Windows PC when you need it. In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed 14 point review with tests including design, build quality. We'll talk about weight, portability, we'll talk about performance, audio video playback quality, USB OTG support, external hard drive support, we'll talk about the battery life, ability to expand the memory, connectivity options, ease of use, camera quality and all that you need to know before you make a purchase decision for the Micromax Canvas laptop. Let's get started. We have all our tools ready to test this device but before that let me start with the design as well as uh, visual appeal and aesthetics of this machine. It looks like uh, a normal PC if you look at it from this angle and when you turn it only then you realize that there is a bulge coming out of it and this bulge is because of its unique design. It is a 2-in-1 and is detachable. It holds the machine in place uh, using two magnets and you can dock it like this as well when you are not using it. In that case it also holds the machine fairly well. Now I'm only holding the top part of the dock part but the tablet does not fall off when you remove it slightly then only it falls off but uh, if you hold it like this it will not fall off and same is the case uh, with the hinge here when you stick it onto the dock it holds it securely with the magnets and even if I hold it upside down it will not fall off uh, from the keyboard which is a good thing physically it is secured and it is nicely designed Talking about the aesthetics and uh, visual appeal, it does look nice and if you use it as a standalone tablet, from the front it looks very good. From the side you will find uh, buttons which are placed here. This is the power wake up key, a volume rocker and there is a speaker grill on the side. There is another speaker grill on the other side and some branding and logos on the rear with Intel inside sticker, canvas, Micromax and some stickers which give product information. On top you have microphone which is used for uh, voice calling or video calling. There is a SIM card slot for data connectivity and you do not need to add a dongle to it. Just put a micro SIM card with 3G connectivity and you are good to go. There is a micro SD card slot which is provided for expanding the memory. It comes with default 32GB internal memory and a micro USB port which can be converted to a USB by using a USB OTG cable which is by the way included in the package. There is a 3.5 mm audio port as well on top. Looking uh, closely at this dock, it comes with a full size chiclet keyboard which has nice travel and is fairly sturdy. It comes with this docking pins with which it connects to the tablet. It has a touchpad which also presses slightly to make it a click or a double click and it gives you a nice and smooth surface. Although the size is very miniature because of the overall size of the product which may be a problem initially but you will get used to it. The keyboard size and the comfort of typing is good. It comes with full set of function keys. It comes with uh, these arrow keys as well. However, the number keys could not be accommodated on this compact size and form factor. There is nothing on this side and on this side you get a full size USB port which can be used to connect uh, pen drives as well as uh, external hard drives. So I'll connect it and see how well it gets detected. On so when it comes to design and build quality, it is fairly sorted and looks very nice uh, if you look at it. Uh, laying on a desk it looks fine. When you just take it out, it looks nice and you can use it as a tablet, as a regular tablet that you use. You can run videos on it, you can uh, watch movies and when you are using it in a dog mode, you can do productivity tasks like uh, running applications or productivity applications creating documents and typing which is very easy and breeze with a full size physical keyboard that is provided on this. Next thing that matters a lot for a machine like this is the weight and portability. The overall weight of this device or this 2-in-1 is around 1.1 kilogram and that is not too heavy. You can easily carry it in your bag. It is fairly easy and compact and comes with a pouch which is built in, uh, in the box and you can very easily carry it wherever you go. Without carrying bulky big laptops, you can uh, take this one with you for your light computing task as well as productivity needs without bothering to carry too much load or too much weight with you. 
Next thing that matters to most uh, PC users is the performance. This one is powered by an Intel CPU which is uh, clocked at 1.83 GHz CPU and you can see that how easily it handles multitasking with Windows 8.1 OS. You can switch between applications seamlessly, you can run productivity apps, you can run videos, audio etc. And you can create your documents and you can do your day to day tasks. There is also Windows 8.1 store which is included. It also comes with a bundled subscription of Office 365 Personal Edition which is worth 3299 which you get with this device and you can install it on one PC and one phone. So it gives you a lot of productivity that you can uh, do with the applications which are from Microsoft and uh, it's a very very cool productivity and performance tool. It gets 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB internal memory and you can expand memory in multiple ways. To expand the memory you can either connect an external drive or you can also put uh, a micro SD card which is right here on top there is a micro SD card slot and it can expand the memory by adding a micro SD card which is the most convenient way of doing it. You get external storage as well as uh, micro SD card support and inbuilt you get 14.7 GB free storage from the 32 GB disk that is installed on it. There is some space which is used by Windows and this is the default space that is free which is close to 15 GB. If you add a 32 GB micro SD card you get 30 GB more which makes it 45 GB and whenever you need you can ex add an external drive or a USB stick uh, and add further more memory. But there is no option to add a flash drive internally or upgrade the RAM, it will remain with 2 GB RAM and it will remain with the internal memory that is provided. All you can do is add external memory. Next thing that will matter to a lot of users is the audio playback quality. Since it comes with two speakers, it gives you surround sound uh, stereo effect. But at the same time, the volume is not very high. We have tested it with an audio track and let me play the audio for you so that you can hear it for yourself. It is audible at best but not very loud. If you want louder audio, it's better that you plug in a set of earphones and enjoy your music on earphones or headphones. This is a standard 3.5mm earphone port so you can connect any sort of earphones that you want. And there is a pair of earphones which is bundled which is 3.5mm in the earphones which will give you good quality of audio. There is no denying the fact that a lot of us watch movies on our Windows PCs and this machine will also end up uh, being used as an enter entertainment machine so it is very important that it plays videos really well. So let me do a quick video playback for you here so that you can see how good the display quality is and also show you the viewing angles. This is a 1280 by 800 high definition display which is part by Intel graphics and the viewing angles are very decent you can see the screen from steep angles it's still visible the colors are coming out nice however the screen is a bit reflective but we don't complain as uh, this is a beautiful display and gives you rich color quality and rich tones as you can see here on your screen it comes with a bright and vivid high definition display Next thing that matters a lot uh, to most users is the productivity and it comes with uh, a lot of productivity applications inbuilt and it comes with office subscription as well. You can uh, also read files as well as you can create files on this machine. It is very easy and browsing through files is also very easy with the touch screen. You don't need to use the trackpad here because uh, the screen itself is a touch screen and you can zoom into the portions that you want to read clearly. This is a very cool and convenient way of uh, using a device which is a PC with a touch screen functionality. So when it comes to productivity, this machine is fairly loaded. In our next test, I'm going to show you whether it supports an external uh, hard drive which is uh, not connected with any power source. So I'm just going to plug this USB into the USB port which is uh, on the dock and let's see if it reads the same. I've opened the my computer window here. So you can see the Windows browser and this is the hard drive which has been connected. 
and after a few minutes of wait the driver has been installed and the hard drive has been detected and this is a 500 GB hard drive that I have connected to the uh, two in one and it is detecting here properly you can see it closely here so it does support external hard drives and next thing I'm going to talk about is the battery life and you can see it from here that uh, the battery remaining here is around 73 percent and I've been using this device for uh, last couple of hours which means that the claim made by Micromax that it should last for uh, 8 to 10 hours of usage on normal usage seem to be true. If you are a normal user and uh, do internet browsing, maybe watch a few videos, it will last you from 8 to 10 hours. However, if you run heavy applications, that battery life will definitely go down because the battery life essentially depends on how much power you are consuming. If you are running too many productivity apps or if you are running heavy applications or games on it, the battery may not last that long. But for a moderate user, we expect the battery should last between 6 to 8 hours easily. Next thing that I'm going to talk about is the connectivity. This tablet or 2-in-1 comes with a lot of connectivity options. By default, you will get Wi-Fi. So if you are at home, you can use Wi-Fi easily. When you are outside, it comes with inbuilt modem for which you can insert the SIM card on top. Right here, there is a SIM card tray and you can insert a micro SIM card with 3G data connectivity and it will connect to the internet using the 3G here. Alternatively, you can also connect it with other devices using the Bluetooth protocol. It supports Bluetooth 2.0 so you can connect Bluetooth devices and you can also tether it over Bluetooth. You can also attach Bluetooth speakers, headset, etc. if you wish to do so. So when it comes to connectivity, you have got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and inbuilt modem which is an all-round connectivity option that you get. If you are a mouse junkie and can't live without a mouse, you can connect a standard USB mouse or a wireless mouse just by plugging in the dongle here and uh, turning on the mouse you have a mouse which is ready to use and it is very very convenient and productivity efficient when you are using a mouse and if you are too used to of using a mouse on your devices anyways and the next thing that I'm gonna talk about with you is the camera quality you will end up using the front facing camera more often on this if you are into video conferencing and all you can use the front facing camera which is a 2 megapixel camera for doing your Skype calls and your hangout sessions and other uh, video conferencing tasks and for taking occasional pictures you can switch to the rear camera and you can take pictures with the rear camera as well which is again a 2 megapixel camera which is provided right here you can take occasional pictures if you require so and it does a decent job at taking pictures However, I did not expect too much from the camera because it's just a basic 2 megapixel camera and it is not meant for taking pictures. Probably it's uh, better off for uh, video conferencing and your normal video calling applications. Both the front and rear facing cameras are capable of recording videos as well if required. Next thing which is very very important is the ease of use. A device should be very easy to use, it should be comfortable so you can very easily carry it Typing is also easy here. So I can speak and type. Uh, it's as easy. I can use it with a mouse. I can drag and drop things. I can use it like a Windows PC. Uh, all the gestures work and I can switch applications by quick swipe gestures. There is touch screen and there are a lot of things that I can do with this uh, two-in-one because it works as a full featured PC. It comes with Windows 8.1 operating system. And you can also install Windows 10 when it rolls out. So it is compatible with Windows. It gives you smart OS. It gives you SIM connectivity. It gives you a full size keyboard, a touch screen, cameras. So when it comes to ease of use, I find it to be incredibly comfortable to use. And when you just want to uh, read a book or something, you can just take it off the dock and uh, use it like an, an ebook reader or for viewing pictures or for watching videos and you can do all sort of consumption uh, you can browse through websites you can do skype calls when you don't need a keyboard and when you need to go for productivity tasks you can just dock it in here and when you are traveling you can just remove it from here and place it here and this way it will be very easy and ready to carry 
and when you know that you don't need the productivity task you can just uh, remove it from the dock press the lock key and lock it and carry it like you would usually carry a tablet if you are just going out uh, for meeting some friends and want to show them some pictures just take this part with you and no need to take the keyboard it will reduce uh, the weight that you need to carry with you so it's a very convenient thing when it comes to ease of use and it's a very sorted device in that aspect and last but not the least value for money if you are spending 15,000 rupees at which it is priced in India and you are getting an option of connecting a lot of storage using the external hard drives you have the option of carrying uh, more data by adding a micro SD card you have 3G connectivity and you do not need to carry dongles with you if you have options to connect a mouse if you have options to type on a full size keyboard and you have a beautiful display I think it is well worth it a few downsides that I found on this machine is that the inbuilt speakers are not very loud and also the touchpad is a bit too small to work on productivity tasks but you can always use earphones and an external mouse to overcome those limitations apart from that this is a bang for the buck machine and gives you all the basic computing needs that you would require on the computing it gives you good performance it gives you 2 GB of RAM fast and snappy windows performance multitasking and full feature productivity applications like the office which is inbuilt it gives you familiar windows interface you can play with this and you can configure it like you do with any other windows machine it's a very comfortable environment to work in and it can be your main productivity device if you are not into very heavy computing so this is a thumbs up from us and you can anyways go ahead and buy it I am leaving a best buy link in the description section below from where you can pick it up at the best price. We totally like this machine and we will come up with more videos if you have any more queries from us you can just leave them in the comment section below. To get the latest video updates from Intellect Digest make sure you hit the red subscribe button below. If you enjoyed watching this review don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. This is all we have on this one this is your host Rohit Purana signing off. Thanks for watching.